Hey YouTube, it's Jeff at Dark Moon Metals. Got a short video for you today. It's uh, on transfer punches, and I want to share with you another use for a transfer punch set. Um, most people know what transfer punches are and how they're used. If you don't, don't worry. I'm going to do a short demonstration uh, explaining exactly what they are, how they work. Uh, but I'm also going to be showing you a little bit of a trick that I picked up a couple years ago that'll help me drill straight cross holes through round stock. For those of you who don't know what a transfer punch is, these are two transfer punch sets that this one goes from 330 seconds all the way up to half inch. And on this set, I go from 11 16 all the way on up to one inch. And it gives me a pretty good variety of different size holes that I can use. Now, these are not made in the United States. These I bought from ENCO. These are not high end. And I really do need to take good care of them because I don't want to damage the tips. Uh, Sets that you find in, that are made in the U.S. are typically made of better steel, but they cost a heck of a lot more. Just for this set, you'd be looking to spend around $300. Uh, I'm not so sure about what the small set would cost you, but um, I bought both of these sets for $80 combined. And what I do when I set my mark, I just tap very gently on these, transfer a mark to the steel, and then come in with a center punch and make the depth on that mark a little bit better so I can actually drill my hole. So let me show you how the transfer punches work. I'll bring you over here. I have two pieces of material and let's say that I want to drill a hole in this piece of material in the exact same spot that I have here because I want them to line up perfectly for, uh, I don't know, maybe putting a bolt through it. This is a one quarter inch hole. This is a one quarter inch transfer punch. And how these work the transfer punch uses the existing hole to line itself up and put the center of the transfer punch in the center of the material where the hole needs to be drilled. So I'm going to line these up and I'm going to come in and just tap it with a hammer. And that should be sufficient to transfer the mark to the other piece of material. Bring it up for the camera to see. Focus. You can see the little divot. And like I said, I'll just come in with a center punch made out of better quality steel, and I will set that mark again, but that gives me a nice divot for reference. If you've seen my video on the vice-mounted bending fork that I made um, not too long ago, you may remember me saying drilling the cross hole is the most difficult part because the cross holes need to be straight. And I did have a couple of people ask me, well, how do you get them straight if all you're using is something like a drill press and you don't have a milling machine or anything like that? Um, I'm going to be showing you how I do a simple setup using the transfer punches to help you drill straight cross holes. Now other places you're going to find cross holes, there's one right here on the drill press vise. Uh, I've got another one, as things fall in the background, on the C-clamp. Cross holes are just very useful for different applications and knowing how to drill them straight will save you a lot of headaches. So here's how we're going to set this up. For the project I'm working on today, one of the tasks is to drill a 5 16 hole, cross hole, through this piece of round stock. Now let me show you an easy method to mark this so you can get your exact center line on your round stock. Uh, this is 3 quarter inch, and I have my 3 quarter inch transfer punch. And I'm going to set this right up on the table of the drill press. Oops. But before I do, I'm going to mark this with a black magic marker on one end, and then I'm going to do a stripe along the side. And you'll see what that's for in just a moment. What I've done is clamp my round stock to the drill press table. Now this drill press table is fairly smooth, so this is going to be a pretty accurate marking. The transfer punch needs to be the same diameter as the stock. So I have three quarter stock, three quarter transfer punch. And all I'm going to do is run this tip along one of the sections that I mark with magic marker. A couple of times, make sure the line sets. And I'm going to come into the side over here and I'm going to make a mark down the end of the piece. and you'll see what that's for in just a moment. So for the next step, you want to secure 
your round stock or your work inside of a vise. Now the trick is you have to get this exactly vertical. So what I did is I took a block of steel that I know is a 90 degree angle and I used that to measure to make sure that the line that I scribed on the end of the stock is perfectly vertical and perfectly 90 degrees from the table. Now the next step we need to level out the table. Making sure that your table is level and at a perfect 90 degrees to the drill chuck is critical for making a good cross hole. What I've done here is taken a transfer punch and put it inside my drill chuck and I'm going to use the drill press to make a slight indentation where I want my uh, my center punch to be. Now let me see how close I can get you guys in on this without the camera going all fuzzy on me. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay. Get this centered perfect. And I'm just going to press down using very minimal pressure. Okay, there we go. So here I am back at the drill press. Uh, I just went off camera and I made my center punch more defined. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come in with a center drill. Now center drills are really, really nice. Um, they really allow you to draw a small pilot hole and because of the way the drill is shaped it eliminates a lot of the wobble in the drill bit. You can do this next step with a regular drill bit but it's going to make things a little more difficult. You're going to get a little bit more wobble. Um, the shorter the distance between the chuck and the end of the drill bit, the more stable the drill is going to move through the material and the easier you're going to find it being. I'm going to go ahead right now and drill this to its final dimension. Normally I would go quarter inch and then up to five sixteenths, but I don't have any short quarter inch drill bits. Uh, one of the things I want to point out, this is a fairly short drill bit. Um, I bought it this way, this is a stubby set of drills. Um, the shorter you can keep your drill bit, the more likely you are going to succeed at drilling your cross hole straight. Um, it just takes the wobble variable to its, uh, you know, its most minute point. Um, this may smoke when I'm going to drill it. I don't have any regular cutting oil left. I actually went through it all. So I'm using just a little bit of tap magic. Um, it is a lubricant. It's going to help a little bit. Like I said, it's very lightweight. It may smoke. But um, I want something in there and to me something's better than nothing. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to finish drilling the cross hole. sure this is going to be a little hot. But there is my cross hole and I think you'll agree that it is fairly straight for what it is. I hope you liked the video and I hope that if you do have a set of transfer punches laying around your garage uh, you now have a new use for them and they're now more useful to you. Uh, and I'm gonna end the video here. But not before I say Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for all of your comments and your, um, your continued views and support of my channel. Until the next video, this has been Jeff at Dark Moon Metals. I'll see you again soon.